Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Ads. I'm Joey. We are a vegan, mostly whole foods cooking channel. We do some product reviews. Sometimes there's some episodes with Tim. If you like what you hear so far, please hit that like button, show us some love, and please think about subscribing and becoming part of the Plant Based Ads family. We do a Patreon page set up. Uh, our patrons are our monthly financial supporters that help us get the show together and get the plant based message out to the masses. If you've ever watched the show or if you're in the Facebook group and you've thought, how can I help? How can I be part of this? That's how you can do it. You can become part of our team by becoming a Patreon member. Or if you want to just make a one-time donation, you can do that too through PayPal. A link to both Patreon and PayPal will be below this video in the description. As you can see, Little Red's with me today. Today he's supporting his uh, I'm officially vaccinated shirt. All of his clothes are provided courtesy of the RedElfShop.com. Juliana over there has an amazing site with so many cool little clothes for, the, for your elf if you're into the elf thing. I absolutely love everything they have over there. Their website's really easy to navigate and it's so much fun to shop on that site. Check out the RedElfShop.com for all your Red Elf needs. All right, so today's video, we're gonna be making a holiday corn casserole. I absolutely love corn and anything to do with it. Ever since I did that corn mini last year or ate corn for a week, I am just like infatuated with corn. I mean, there's so much you can do with it and it's such a great starch and it's so low in calories. I wanted a corn casserole that would have all the different types of corn, the cream corn, the regular corn kernels, some, some polenta in it because that's like a corn meal. I wanted all of that, you know, with some vegetables and I wanted some color in it. So. I think that you're really gonna like the presentation of this casserole. It's a beautiful dish. I think it just makes a really nice addition to any holiday menu. All right, I can't wait to show you what we've done. Let's get to the food. I'm starting with a medium sauce pot, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of water, maybe a few tablespoons. I'm gonna be water sauteing, we're not using oil. Once the water starts steaming, I'm gonna start adding my vegetables. Here I'm starting with one large onion diced up. Next, I've got about six garlic cloves diced up. And I'm just gonna mix that together to get my aromatics all combined. And then I'm gonna let those soften up a little bit, about two to three minutes, and I'll just keep stirring it every so often. Next, I'm adding two carrots diced. I used a bunch of little baby carrots from a big Costco bag. And next, I've got a yellow bell pepper all diced up. Here, I've got two to three celery stalks all diced up with my beautiful doll strong knife. There's a link below this video on where you can get one. Next, I'm adding a four ounce jar of sliced pimentos. I'm just gonna open this up and dump the whole jar in there. And you can see here, look how beautiful those colors are. It looks like fall. Now I'm gonna stir these together to start getting them all combined. And next I'm adding about a pinch or two of Himalayan salt, just to get all those vegetables sweated. And because I can't eat anything without pepper, I'm putting a healthy dose of pepper on here. Now you can see it's sauteing nicely. There's no oil, it's just water and nothing sticking. Once you get the hang of water sauteing, it's not bad. You just gotta keep moving it and keep it wet. All right, so next I'm adding my cream corn. This is 16 ounces of frozen corn that I blended in the blender. I'm just gonna dump it in and that's gonna give me the cream corn portion of this. You can see here, it looks like cream corn. I'm just gonna mix this all in to add all of its luscious creaminess right to my casserole mixture. And I'm gonna let this cook for about three minutes to really give that cream corn a chance to incorporate and break down with all the veggies. Notice I'm scraping the bottom here to make sure I get all that fond off the bottom. I need all that flavor. After about three minutes, I'm gonna dump in another 16 ounces of whole corn. This is the same big bag of Costco corn, I just didn't cream these. And I'm gonna start mixing this up to try and get that all incorporated also. And next I'm adding one half a cup of oat milk. I'm using the low fat Planet Oak oat milk. And again, I'm just gonna stir this up and try and get all this combined. Now I'm gonna add some cornmeal. This is just polenta that I pulsed in the blender. I probably could have pulsed it longer to get it more fine. So do that if you don't like the grittiness of polenta. Otherwise, I loved it the way it was. I'm just adding a little bit at a time and mixing it so I don't wind up with the whole thing seizing up from all that cornmeal. You can see here, I'm just adding a bit, mixing it, adding a bit and mixing it. And I just did this until all of the cornmeal was used. And you can kind of see here, now I've got this really thick corn mixture. This is gonna be perfect for a casserole. All right, so I've laid out my casserole dish here and now I'm just adding the whole contents of my pan into this casserole dish. And then I'm gonna use my spatula as I go around just to kind of flatten it and give it a nice level, even surface. Then I'm sprinkling some dried parsley on just for a little bit of extra color. And then I'm tossing it into a preheated oven at 350 degrees, and I'm gonna let this cook for 30 minutes. After about 30 minutes, mine was done. You can press the top and you can feel that it's pretty firm. If it's firm, take it out. I'm just letting it cool here, but look at those colors. Does that say fall or what? 
Next, it was time to grab a piece. So I'm just taking my spatula here and I'm making a cutout for it. Um, and I'm going around the sides too. It really didn't stick to the sides, but I just wanted to make sure for this photo that it came out nicely with no issues. And you can see here as I'm pulling it up, uh, it came out very nice. And look how thick that is. Holy smokes. All right, you can see right here, this is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to eat this. Man, that's gonna go great with any Thanksgiving meal. What do you all think? I'm loving it. Let's eat. So did you know that you could make cream corn just by putting the corn in the blender and creaming it up? I grew up on cream corn and I absolutely love it. So I do that from time to time. It kind of reminds me of some of the memories from my childhood. All right, so take a look at this. It's an absolutely beautiful piece of corn casserole. I mean, it's got a lot of structure. It's still really thick. It's a, a, just a work of art. Look at those colors, the reds from the peppers and the yellows from the corn and the green from the, from the celery and, and all that stuff that we put in there. It looks just so appetizing. Like, I can't wait to give this a shot. I've already eaten some of it, but so I know it's good <laughs> because otherwise I wouldn't make it if it wasn't good. So let's see what we've got here. Mmm. Oh my gosh. So good. Wow. You really gotta like corn for this, and I do. I love corn. Wow. Mmm. You know what? I think it's a tie for me between corn and potatoes for my favorite starch. As much as I love potatoes, I absolutely love corn. When I do like a mini, if I wanna get back on track and I do like a 10 day mini, I really prefer the corn mini just so I can have corn tacos, right? Um, over the potatoes because it gives me a lot more options. And this kind of pie right here, this is kind of an example of why I love corn so much. So much flavor packed into this little uh, piece of pie here. So that's our video for today, a beautiful, holiday corn casserole. It's absolutely delicious. You're gonna love this. I really want you to make this and let me know if you do. All right, hit that like button. Show us some love. What's not to like? We have an amazing corn casserole. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, click that bell, and you get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Monday. And please, leave a comment below. How are the rest of the holidays looking for you? Do you have a menu plan? What are you doing for the winter holidays? Uh, you got any New Year's plans? What are your plans this year? All right, I hope you're having a happy holiday. Don't forget to check out theredelfshop.com for all your uh, Red Elf needs, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>